But, but more important, I'm Vice President of the United States. Anything that I handle is because it's a tough issue. It's amazing. I wonder what the press like in those other places. We're going to give time for the press to leave and then we'll continue the briefing. <laughs> Nearly two-thirds of Democratic primary voters want a different nominee. Two-thirds. If you break it down by age, 94% of Democratic primary voters under the age of 30, 94% say they don't want Biden. That is a stunning number. Yes. Um. I mean, he swept his grandchildren, but other than that, I mean, like, who, uh, I mean, 94% don't want him, who are, Demo again, 94%. Demo yeah. Democrats uh, under yeah, the age yeah. of 30. Yeah. Originalism, they, uh, the justices who take that approach go all the way back to our founding fathers and pretend that they know what our founding fathers meant when they drafted the Constitution. I use the word pretend because who the heck would, should, would, would know what our founding fathers meant? John McCain became one of my closest friends. Even though John McCain and I were like brothers who would go at each other with hammer and tong. But when it was over in the debate, we knew each other. In this country, we're still down from peak production. You don't think there's anything that, that you can do in Congress or to convince the Biden administration uh, offshore activity, ANWR, Keystone. You don't take any responsibility it's just all a Putin price hike. You're, you're headed to Saudi Arabia, and, and domestically, we're not producing as much as we could here. Yeah, part of the challenge domestically in terms of production is that the oil and gas companies have refused to actually act on the permits to drill that they yeah, currently have available that, to that, them. That's kind of a red herring. It's the overall pressure from ESG and the Green Lobby uh, about whether an oil company is, is going to make plans five or ten years down the road make sure it's eliminated no more drilling on federal lands no more drilling including offshore no ability for the oil industry to continue to drill period you know a large part of, of population wants to put them out of business completely so w would you invest yeah. hard-earned capital on on a five-year project or a 10-year project now and if you were a fossil well, fuel company yeah i mean it's not clear to me that the oil and gas companies really care that much about the so-called green lobby they care about the record profits that they've been making on the backs of increased gas prices for the american people oh, they're not they're, they're not making what they made 10 years ago so their, their records based on the last two three four years five years but no one uh, i don't remember you feeling bad for them when they lost 20 billion dollars in 2020 either so i mean it is a very volatile uh, business that they're in and that's, unfortunately, that's the way capitalism works. Some years you, you do well, other years you don't do as well. I personally think, you know, if Joe Biden runs again, great. If other people run in the Democratic Party, great. I think that's the test of our democracy is that have an open field. If you can win, win, and then go into the general. If Joe Biden's on the top of the ticket in 2024, I will support him. But I think it's fine if there is a contested primary. So Well, folks, uh, you know, you don't have to stand. Every time I hear hail to the chief, wonder, where the hell is he? <laughs> Took me a long while. <laughs> you think I'm joking? I'm not. Turn around and, where, where's, where's the president? Folks, look, uh, you know, uh, I'm Jill Biden's husband and uh, <laughs> proud of it. The thing that I'm going to worry you about is that they said you can work the rope line. I said, hell, I'm going to sit down and eat with you all. And so you're stuck with me. So enjoy the day. Good afternoon and welcome to the White House. Hey. <laughs>